I feel great. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait. And I'm doing great for two hours of sleep last night. You're the ocean side in the middle of July. You're all the reason why I've been waiting for so long. I've been waiting. perfect person for me. I truly believe God made us for each other. And there's a scripture in Psalms that says, God setteth the solitary in families. And both Helen and I have come out of such difficult circumstances. Uh, God has brought us out and into each other's arms that we might find each other and find true love that neither of us have ever had. So, I only ha hope I can match what this good woman does on a daily basis. She does so much. She's just amazing. We are here to witness a very joyous and happy occasion. It's the marriage of James and Helen. You belong to each other. Two united, making one. James is seen in Helen. Helen is seen in James. When you see either one of them, you should see both of them. You are to be committed to each other 100%, mentally and physically. words cannot describe the fullness of the love that I have for you. I seek not to show my love in word, but also in action and deed. Love is not passive. Love is active. It is present. It is living, always living. I promise to live my life.
I promise to never be stingy with my love. I promise to lead, but not dictate. I promise to allow you to be the good mother you already are and the wife I know you will be. I love you so much. James, I bow to you this day to faithfully give myself to you alone in heart, mind, and body. I vow to seek to build our marriage on Jesus Christ the rock of our salvation striving and growing in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I gotta seek God's guidance and strengthening to become a worthy helpmate, a godly woman, and a godly wife. I vow to faithfully love you all of my days as your life. As a minister of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pronounce you husband and wife. You, you may kiss your wife. Mr. and Mrs. James Ireland. 